Can you guess what happens today? Today I'm going to turn this into another robot. And this one's in addition to the previous one, the Grape Keeper. Here you can find the video in case you didn't watch it by now. Hence, this is also part of my series titled Of Druids and Droids. One of you actually gave me the idea to do that in the first place, so thanks again. I start by gluing this gear looking thing onto the cosmetic pump lid. I proceeded to search for tires as I desired the robot to be capable of driving an uneven terrain. That's what it should look like. CA glue mixed with baking powder helped me to stick the axles onto another gear locking thing I found. After a little cleanup, we can test drive it. I'm marking out where I want the little arms to go and then I got my dad's bit box full of beads. And then it started to rain, but that doesn't bother us. In fact, that's what made crafting cold in this day. Until wind came and I needed to back off. As these beads were threaded onto a thin wire, I glued them together. To paint the robot's body as well, I sanded its surface. I'm using the same technique as I did in my last Kitbash video. This paint somehow makes a nice surface imperfection, which plays perfectly along with the robot's theme. After I coated it with a yellow afterwards, it is time for some accessories. The pot party, the trippers, the grasshoppers, the hip ones, all gathered in secrecy and fly. After I placed every screw where I thought they belonged, I noticed that I wanted a door on the side of this robot. Which meant that I needed to rip off two of said screws, but since the door covered most of it, it never happened. Circuit boards often have some interesting pieces to offer. These fusion coils were perfect to add to his back. I then reused a can to cut out smaller bits to create buttons and switches. Just like I did with this little door on the side of his body. And I added some wire to connect those fusion coils.
course, he needs a cute antenna, just like Claptrip. I went to Luxembourg and I got myself some Vallejo paints and some other stuff. With my new brushes, painting will be easy. I'm starting by painting the armholes grey, followed by everything else that gets a similar color. Then I gave the body a yellow wash. For a while I couldn't decide on the arms, um, but at some point I just mixed one arm and one screwdriver arm. I put on the wheels with some more super glue and gave him some shoulder pads. These signs were laying around in the basement workshop and that aroused my interest. I needed to add this sign to the robot. After finding out that this means following, it was time to glue it on. But first I soaked it in some water. I had some company joining me, maybe this guy found it interesting watching me paint stuff just like you do. I weathered the arms and painted the fuel tab, which then got glued on as well. As you might know, every robot has its story, so here's a story about MB07. As the Grapekeeper and its builder went looking for some new scraps, they stumbled upon another abandoned factory where housekeeping robots were produced, just like the one he came from. As a creative mind, you would look through the piles of waste to see if there was something useful, and so did they. Not only were they old chairs, discarded assembly lines, lockers and other pieces of furniture, but also pieces of mech, like circuit boards, a couple of robot arms, scraps of metal, perforated plates, wires, suspension springs and much more. They put everything valuable in the hand cut they carried along their way. Many more companions could be built from that prey. Once they returned to the valley, the engineer immediately started developing another robot. One that could repair and maintain every other following of them. By taking what's left on his pile of parts and merging it together with precision, a maintenance robot emerged, ready to play a crucial role alongside its botanical companion. 
by Botanics HA473, the plant carrying robot brought life and greenery to the valley. MB07 would ensure that he and all the other robots and machineries were in perfect condition. He could mend broken systems, keep machineries clean and do so much more. From the day he was brought back to life, MB07 was part of something big and he could not be dispensed with. The scars of his discarded origins were reminders of the potential hidden within forgotten fragments. Just like the first creation, the magic lies in the imperfections. We are not just building a robot, we are weaving a story of resonance and repurposing. Every scratch and dent tells a tale of transformation, echoing the rebirth of discarded scraps. Each and every part can have value. You only need to find a way to acknowledge it. I hope you find that interesting and keep joining me throughout these adventures and the ongoing saga of of druids and droids. Tell me what you think and until next time, stay creative.